Logistic regression is one of the most popular approaches to binary classification. And we really love that here at Google because it is very nicely scalable. So binary classification here, um, at enormous scale, we like this kind of approach and we like neural networks also. So let's have a look. We're gonna apply this to an utterly made up example involving, can knowing the hours that a student has studied help us guess whether they are going to pass or fail an exam? Let's see our data. On the x-axis, we have the number of hours they've studied from zero to 40. In blue, the ones are passes, the reds are fails. And as you're looking at this, you're like, of course hours of study has nothing to do with passing and failing, of course. Or are you looking at this and thinking, yeah, there's something to it. I'm seeing that it does look like there's a little more failing on the low end of the study spectrum and a little more passing on the high end. So let's see if we can make a model. We're supposed to be in a putting lines through stuff section, aren't we? So let's put a line through it. Hmm. Now, we would love to interpret this as a probability. We've seen already in that previous section that it's nice to get probabilities as output. But let's read. If I study for two hours, I have what? A negative probability of passing? That doesn't even make any sense. Probabilities can't be negative or more than 100%. So if I insist on getting a result between zero and 100, I'd better try something else. So here's what we're gonna do. Logistic regression. And I'm not gonna show you what's happening there behind the scenes, details, details. I'm gonna show you essentially how you should think about this and especially at scale. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do something like a predicted probability in the sample, sample probability of passing at each hour. And then you're gonna do a little bit of converting those individual things to a different scale entirely. So you push them through a different function and I've actually grayed out that function. It's the loaded function. You don't have to even worry about what that function is. The point is simply this. When you have done that transformation, does it look like a shape that we are familiar with? It looks an awful lot like a line now, doesn't it? And so now in this converted space, our studied versus this logit, whatever on earth it is, we can fit a line model to it. Great, so we can use this model to predict this logit thing. Was that what we asked for? No, we didn't want a logit. So let's undo the damage. <laughs> let's take this model and convert it back to our original coordinate space. So it's like flip it, fit and reverse it. And when we pass this thing, this line through another function. Ta-da! That looks a little more through it, right? This lovely S-shaped curve. 